Hey folks, misplaced your Yeti. Here's an easy trick for a quick koozie if you got a dog that is, and he eats Alpo. Fuck yeah. Perfect. Bottoms up. Hey folks, last time I left you we were still working on the base. Honestly, I just got too busy and this was going to be too fucking boring. So this is the, eventually how it laid out. Uh, everything's nice and tight and straight. Pump works. We're good. But it's only got 141 CFM. I'm going to probably end up rebuilding that Bationi pump that I showed you on the bench. Because uh, it's got about 145 CFM more than this little guy does. So this will work. But I spent the time to do this right. I want to make it as cool as I could possibly get it before I send it out. So back to the drawing board. Okay, a couple more modifications. I needed to make an ICC bumper. I think that's what they call it. All I had was that I-beam. So I cut it and welded it in the center to make it stronger, just like a snap-on wrench. Not really. But um, here's another modification I'm going to have to make. Not that I'm modifying this, but we got a 4-inch uh, coming down to a 3-inch, coming down to a 2-inch. Now when you're sucking into the bottom, basically the vacuum is on top. And then it draws liquid in this way, which is fine, unless you're trying to move a bunch of air through the hose as well, which is what I do, keep everything clean. So I'm going to build a port going into the top. That way, if the engine ever dies, or the belt breaks, or something happens when you're pumping, you're only going to lose the contents of the hose and not the contents of the tank. You dig? So rather than cut a 2-inch hole in the tank and weld that in, change the integrity of the tank itself this here manway is removable it's got a seal on the bottom that you can change every once in a while it's got that little uh, quarter inch port for maybe a gauge or whatever but uh, you can get in that way and pressure wash the tank and this seems like a good spot because it's a replaceable part so I cut a hole in there and I'll put a three inch on there and reduce this down to two inches now I don't know if you could make out this brown stripe here that's from the leaf spring that holds it on. There's a little wing nut and such. So I got this out of the way enough, I think. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to just tack it and then go up there and see what's what. Shoot! Damn it! Come on, ground. Ah, the sweet smell of shit and success. Smells of shit. Look a gwing, gliggy, giggle, go, go, quail, go. Supper's ready. Now, I'm not a welder, but I play one on TV. You can see many flaws if you're a welder in this work. First of all, you're never supposed to weld on this stuff anyway. Also, got some undercut there. But you know what? I'm a home gamer. What am I supposed to do? Hire somebody? Fuck that. Drilling in the name of. Got this here toolbox. I'm going to go out and splurge. Place to put my hose. Um, got plenty of 3 inch room on the other side. But I got some special 60 foot stuff that uh, will wind right up in here. Uh, 2 inch. Real limber stuff, I like using it on the route, you know, for sucking up oil and shit. But 300 bucks seemed a little steep for this. I mean, there's not much to it. So I figured, you know, maybe uh, this old Tony could TIG weld one up for me, but he's not taking my calls. Nah, there's nothing worse than just buying a $300 box and having to hack a fucking hole in it. So, just to kind of hide my hackiness, I cut a Super 40 grommet to make it look like I actually cut a round hole. So, from a distance, it kind of looks like I had a hole saw, but I didn't. I used a whizzer. Looks horrible. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. I'm going to fire it up, and I'm going to see if I can put a vacuum on the tank without it imploding and suck a little oil out. Sad thing is I just shipped a semi-load of it out, so um, I don't have much around. Got maybe a bucket's worth, but it'll tell me what I need to know.
fuck, man. That's why you never fix a hose, just throw it away. Heard something leaking over here. Go to creep over. Looked at it out of the corner of my eye and I went, oh fuck, and started running. Just in time. Don't fix air hose. Just throw it away. <laughs>